Coach Elder again, Minnesota Throws Coach. Um, this is the Frankenstein drill, I call this. Uh, this is kind of just a positional drill that will start in the back of the ring and hit all the positions that we need to hit prior to getting your stand throw. So uh, uh, this is a great drill to do, just position to position to position by pausing at all these positions and make sure you, you're hitting them. But it's also a great drill to use as you're filming your own throws and watching your own video to make sure that you're hitting these positions while you're in fluid motion of a real competitive full throw. So uh, this will start at the back of the ring. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna be facing a couple different directions as we do this one. I try to try to do this as best I can. Um, so we're gonna start in the wind. And when we wind out in the back of the ring, we want our feet about 50-50. We don't want to take a whole bunch of weight to one side and then the other and then bring it back again. You'll see that with the freak shows, the Olympic uh, athletes, but we're just not, we're not ready for that yet. That's something more stylistic than it is anything that is something that coaches teach. Um, so winding first, our feet are, are parallel 50-50. Um, I'm never gonna bring my left arm over here by the shot put. I want my left arm to be opposite the shot put all the time. I'm gonna really dig my right heel into the ground and I'm not gonna let my right heel turn. So digging it in right there and being really solid. I'm a little bit more uh, right footed than left right now, but I know that I'm going back into my load. Okay, so wind. I'm gonna come back into my load, and loading is putting almost probably 80% of my weight over that left foot. Now I'm 49 years old and not in great shape, but this position is not an easy position to get into. You'll know you're in it when your knee is past your foot, so you're dropping a ping pong ball off your knee and it lands outside your toes, that's when you know that you loaded pretty well, okay? Um, Chris Keel, our, our Olympic discus thrower that, that coaches with us also, she calls that scraping the snow off the hood of your SUV. So you're taking your left arm, you're scraping snow off the hood, and that kind of pulls you into your load. There's a whole bunch of different ways to get there, but winding and loading, the key part of the beginning of this drill. If you can't do those things, then turning and, and staying in balance for the rest of the throw is gonna be really hard, okay? After we wind and load, after we get to this position here, now I'm just gonna sweep really slowly into the wheel position. So I'm gonna turn around and do it the other way so I can land in wheel facing you. So I'm doing is trying to sweep wide, trying to land in the wheel. Once I land in the wheel, I can pull my right foot in a little bit, and obviously you're hitting all those wheel positions we've talked about in previous videos. Right foot facing that way, left foot right down the sector, nine o'clock and three o'clock with my shot put and my left arm, okay? Now obviously from here, all we're gonna do is spin to your stand throw position. Set that up well, and then I'm gonna be thinking smack, hip, and throw. Okay, so that's the beginning part of Frankenstein. So the steps will be wind, load, hit the wheel, pivot through your wheel, stand throw position, smack, hip, throw. So if we can hit all seven or eight of those positions in that Frankenstein drill, we'll be doing great. So here's the drill one more time, straight through. And that's the Frankenstein drill.